The video will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video, please follow the link below. Also note that you can post anonymously. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Amped Wireless AP20000G Dual Band Access Point. Great looking box with plenty of features and specifications as well as pictures of the product on the box. There's also two security seals on it. That way you make sure that it has never been opened. There's one on either end of the box. So let me go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Inside is a setup guide along with an installation CD. And this is the access point. You can see that it's very well packaged. It comes with an RJ45 cable. This is a category 5E cable. Also, they include a power adapter, the antennas, and the stand. Let me first attach the antennas. There's a little sticker here on the back that says, one, attach the antennas, two, connect power. Remove that, and then simply screw the antennas into place like so and once you get them mounted and screwed in you can then adjust the antennas to pretty much any position that you want left or right back or forth with the antennas connected it now looks like an access point and remember you can have this orientated horizontally or you can use the included stand and orientated vertically. Now this access point is very versatile. It can pretty much be added to any existing network. It's great for extending the range of your existing Wi-Fi network and excellent for large homes and offices. It's good up to 7,500 square feet. Now, of course, that's going to depend on where the access point is and what's in its way, like walls and so on and so forth. But you can get an amazing amount of range out of this access point. Also, this is a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz access point. It can be used for both and it can be used for both at the same time which is very rare remember that this is a dual band access point and most access points on the market you know are either 2.4 or 5 but this one can do both and it can do them simultaneously now let me go through some of the features and specifications about this product and then I'll have a closer look at it again this is a universal access point meaning that it will work with pretty much all brands all 2.4 5 gigahertz 80211 a b g and n routers so you do not need to have an amped wireless router for this to work with you can buy this and then add it to your existing wi-fi infrastructure and extend the range very simply this is a dual band 300 plus 300 megabit per second access point so the speeds will be fantastic and these two high gain antennas have a lot to do with the signal strength the overall build quality and styling on this is quite nice it's simple there isn't a lot of branding i think it works extremely well on the outside edge they have this gloss finish but at the top they have this matte smooth finish very very nice to the touch and in the middle is mesh for ventilation at the back of course is where the two antennas get connected like i showed you earlier here's where the power adapter gets connected they have four gigabit lan ports now this is the network connection i showed you that they included an rj45 category 5 E cable well this end gets connected here blue to blue and then this end and it even says gets connected into your router switch as well here's the WPS button reset button and a USB port at the bottom there's lots of ventilation 
for rubber feet for orientating it horizontally you can also wall mount this if preferred now let's see how easy this access point is to set up with the antennas connected and the power adapter plugged in you've got a couple of setup options there is one that is extremely easy all you need to do is connect the access point into the router's network LAN port or network switch wait a few minutes enter the default network IDs and passwords, and boom, it's done. However, that's not so secure because if somebody wants to find out what kind of access point you have, it wouldn't take much for them to figure out the network IDs and the passwords. So, I would recommend doing it this way. And this way is connect the access point into a computer's LAN port. Use an RJ45 cable to do so. Then open up a browser, it doesn't matter what browser. In the address bar, type in setup.amptwireless.com and this screen will come up. It's a dashboard which is a basic setup and it is where you would change the network IDs and the passwords. Very, very important. To configure the access point, first click on Basic Setup. Now you'll need to update the system clock by clicking on the Sync button. Once you've done that, click Next. Now this is the important part. This is where you need to change the network IDs for the 5 GHz wireless network and the 2.4 GHz wireless network. You also want to change the corresponding passwords for each, then click Next. Once you click Next, though, the access point will reboot and apply your settings. There are many other settings and let me go through them quickly. Within the 5 GHz Wi-Fi settings there's basic setup, security settings, Wi-Fi protected setup, user access, wireless coverage, access schedule, and advanced settings. For the 2.4 Wi-Fi again you've got basic settings, security settings, Wi-Fi protected setup, user access, wireless coverage, access schedule, and advanced settings. These are the network settings, USB storage settings, and a number of management settings, system status, network statistics, system clock, system logs, update the firmware, which is very important, make sure that you do that, and save your settings, and also password. If you're in the market for a high power wireless and 600 milliwatt gigabit access point, that comes with four gigabit ports, one USB storage port, perfect for sharing files, a couple of humongous antennas that will give you great range. I mean, this is a perfect no-brainer kind of product. You get it, you set it up, boom, you've extended your wireless network and it's just so easy to do it. Also, the cost on this is reasonable. So the question really is, will this access point add long-range Wi-Fi to an existing network? Well, yes. It definitely will but it's going to vary it depends on a number of different factors like for example the Wi-Fi network that you're using if you're using 2.4 gigahertz you're going to get more range less bandwidth if you use the 5 gigahertz network then you'll get less range but faster speed so you have to choose which one you want also it depends on what your home or office is constructed of Typical building materials, wood, chip rock, things like that are fine. It'll have you know, no problem penetrating the walls, ceilings, even floors within an office. No problem and it will extend the range, but the range will truly, truly vary without a doubt. This is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.